this morning I'm going to be making a um, potato squash onion and garlic bake in my little clay cooker this is used usually for tortillas or for garlic but it's perfect for smaller um, smaller cooking projects as well you can also use any heavy uh, heavy cooker like cast iron or corning wire or anything as long as it has a lid on it so Happy to announce that the garlic and the squash are from my gardens and everything else is purchased, of course. You are also going to need olive oil. I am participating in a collaboration named Quick and Easy Meals hosted by the Grace Life DIY Home Decor. Every Sunday evening, uh, Anna at the Grace Life DIY Home Decor posts all the recipes for the week and it's everything you could possibly imagine, it's casseroles, side dishes, desserts, whatever you got going on, and they all look amazing. So this is my week's contribution. My first order of business is to cut everything up, so I'm gonna start with these potatoes. I like to have things in um, small bite-sized chunks. They just cook faster and better, especially in this particular circumstance. So I'm just gonna cut these all up. And again, the amount that you use, you can use zucchini for this, you can use russet potatoes, you can use whatever you want. I happen to have uh, these creamers I got at uh, Costco and I've been really spoiled by them. They are absolutely delicious. Okay, here are the potatoes all, all cut up. And I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna get started on this squash. I'm gonna cut it into slices and then I'm gonna clean the seeds out. Okay, they're all cut up and I'm going to go ahead and chop these into bite-sized pieces as well. And here it is with the squash. I'm going to go a little crazy with the onions because the onions just cook up so nicely and give such a great flavor to this. Let's we'll start with that and see where it gets us. There we go, that looks about right. Put that right in there. I brought this garlic out, but it's suddenly not looking like enough, so I think I'm going to get one of my elephant garlic um, cloves. These things are amazing, and I'm going to be growing them again next year for sure. All right, that looks more like it for the garlic. And feel free to put in um, as much garlic as you want. This garlic's pretty strong. All right. I'm going to pour in some olive oil, mix it up, and just let it set for a minute. This is going to be a tall order for this little um, this little cooker, so we're, I'm going to put in as much as I can. It might all fit. Yeah, I think it's going to be okay. Maybe not. <laughs> That's about half of what I cut up, and uh, the rest I'll just put in a plastic container and have it tomorrow for dinner. Cook it again. Um, obviously, if you have a bigger Romer top or a um, larger cooker or something, that is fine. But my bigger Roman top is packed away, so we're just going to have to deal with this. I got a little too ambitious. <laughs> with these clay cookers, you do not put them in a preheated oven. You let the oven warm up with it. So I'm going to put this in and turn it to 400. If you're using like a um, corning ware or a baking dish, you know, you can preheat the oven. But for this particular circumstance, you need to have the um, oven warm up with the cooker. So I'm going to go ahead and cover this just like that. We're going to uncover it in a little bit and let's get started. This is so good. I'm thrilled about having it twice into the refrigerator for tomorrow too. So it's been about 30, 35 minutes and everything is soft. Your potatoes are, are nice and uh, everything's soft. So I'm going to put this back into the oven um, again at 400 degrees but without the lid. And there it is about uh, 20 to 30 more minutes in the oven. Smells so good and you got to believe me when I tell you it's delicious. So that's my clay cooker, summer squash, potato, onion and garlic bake. Again you can do this in a regular Dutch oven or a cast iron Dutch oven or corning ware or whatever you got. I just have this little baker and it makes just the right amount for me so that's what I used. Hope whatever you're cooking is absolutely wonderful and thank you so much for watching.